Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and today we're going to finally put the entire Brick Nottingham Castle into the city. So as you know, there are two main elements to Brick Nottingham Castle. The main castle on Castle Rock, which is on two base plates, which will end up going here. And then we're going to have a eight stud break. And then we're going to have the Major Oak Hill, where the drawbridge lands, over here. And that eight wide gap will be a river which runs in between the two and underneath the drawbridge. Right, so let's get started with the two base castle. I've got to link it to all these rail lines over here. And um, I'm thinking about doing a few more details that we can see from train cam. So if I'm going to add any more detail or little vignettes to the underside of this castle, now is the time to do it because I just won't have convenient access uh, once this is in position. So what I'm going to do is just do a few scenes that aren't too uh, piece intensive or labor intensive, just because I may as well. Uh, and they'll be viewable from train cam, albeit probably only in one direction anyway, so I won't spend too long. Um, so the first thing I wanted to do was pay homage to the power miners line. Over the years, I've accumulated a couple of brick monsters. So this one's apparently called Fire Rocks. Uh, he's the sort of trans orange one. So I thought I could put him uh, underground, mining away. And the other one I've got is the trans red one, who apparently is called Meltrox. And these are really quite fun little monsters, really. You can see that. He's got a little face and his big sort of hatch mouth opens up. And I think the point is that I don't really know much about this range, but I think the point is that um, they live underground and eat crystals. So I thought I would put a crystal there as well and have one in his hand so he's eating that so hopefully a train going around with train cam on and with its lights blaring we'll be able to see that um maybe not who knows so that's the first thing i mean it's not like i can use these anywhere else anyway another thing i can't really use many places is some big spider web pieces with spiders on so i've just got a few modified tile pieces already positioned just to speed me up and I've sort of already measured this to make sure that they aren't going to interfere with a train going by because the last thing I want is a sort of derailment or crash or uh, other incident deep underneath all of this so I'll do two there and one more with another spider on over here And I think with them being white and everything, and the black spider as contrast, I think they'll pick up on the train cam as well. So hopefully they'll work. Now, the third thing uh, is to do with having a prisoner or a ghost prisoner in the uh, dungeon of the castle. From the front, you'll know we've got that window on the uh, lower floor, so I thought, you know, there's lots of different ways of doing a ghost, but, but since the recent hidden side uh, figures have come out with their ghosts, I thought I'd use some of those pieces. So I've got the two ghosts here from the Shrimp Shack Attack set, which I bought, which is really good. And I thought I could use some of these. Now, first of all, I thought I'd use the waitress's hair and face because they look very ghostly indeed and I'm going to use this waitress as a real life waitress when I do my shrimp shack on the beach so I think I'll have that then in a the recent brick call I got another ghost head and it's the best one in my opinion so I'll use that and I thought for a body I could use this top half of body because it's got the ghostly spring green hand pieces and so on so I thought because I also want to keep this chef 
as a genuine chef, that I could use this body. Now, the only problem with this is that this hair piece does not fit on this sort of top pair of arms type torso because it's not a standard torso and it just won't go. So I was looking for alternatives and it seems that all long sort of wavy hair or anything that goes back past the collar isn't going to work either. But I did remember in my toy shop that I had a toy sort of ghost helmet, which I think is from a Lord of the Rings or a Hobbit set. Uh, and I thought I could use that. So if I get the clear headpiece out of that, which I can't at the moment. There we go. Then I could have him as being a ghost of a long dead soldier, which actually makes a lot of sense. So we've got the spring green arms and torso, and we've got that nice face and that nice head. Now you can't see any legs through that very small window, so it doesn't matter. And even if you could, I mean, quite frankly, he's sort of a disembodied ghost then, isn't he? Which is uh, more fun. So I'm going to off camera uh, do that because it takes a lot of uh, hard reaching and show you it from the other side. Oh, and just so I can um, replenish the toy shop, I thought I'll just replace it with a nice red cowboy hat. And there's that spooky ghost through the window. I think it's a good choice because that spring green really shows up through the uh, small gaps between the bars. And I think if it was something darker, you wouldn't be able to see it at all. So, um, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Well, that was a lot more difficult than I'd hoped it'd be just because uh, it was a very long reach and quite difficult to get uh, several things connected all at the same time. But uh, I've managed it now. And it's looking pretty good. I won't dwell on it too much until I've got the rest in place. But one other thing I have done is put this gap in between the tables. So the um, table underneath the castle finishes about 10 studs into uh, this base plate. So it's just hanging over the edge just slightly. But I'm going to need this gap between the tables in order to do a recessed river. Otherwise, it's just going to be a completely flat base plate river and I don't want that I want to be able to have rocks and um, a few other things and bridges actually going over the stream so it won't be um, too deep but the gap is necessary so next I need to get um, Major Oak Hill here and then attach that as well and I think I'll add something on the inside of that as well Okay, so we're looking at the back of Major Oak Hill at the moment, and I thought I'd add a scene to this as well. And I thought I'd add the recently acquired Series 5 Cave Woman. I thought she could be living uh, underneath this hill. And just to give her something to do, I've made a little fire for her to be around. She's obviously discovered fire. Just some rocks around that and some um, trans orange pieces around a fire. So hopefully we can see that uh, from both directions of the train cam, if I put it in here. Well, that's quite good fun. Right, let's attach this to the rest. And here it finally is, all integrated. That one was a lot easier to do. And I'll just check the drawbridge landing. Drawbridge complete with good night. Look at that. Perfect. Well, I think that looks really fantastic against the wall. And the tree looks great. And the eagle flying. And the mural. Well, bear in mind, we're going to have two buildings one here and one here up against these large portions of flat wall. Um, yeah, and we've got the white arches on both sides of the 
initial tunnels and then this stream as it's going to be which will be blue and running down here will be done well in a future video coming soon I guess excellent okay so I'm going to go handheld to look at some of the details as we've got nice eagle with nest over the white arches of the hill end cave woman in there somewhere the evil knights major oak the goody knight climber and the portcullis is down over that lovely yellow arch and our lovely flags and soldiers inside we've got the king and the armory tall tower the blacksmith the evil wizard in his tower nice window there and the ghost visible between the bars of the dungeon fantastic I'm really happy with that So as always, thank you very much for watching. I've had lots of fantastic comments from you recently, uh, all about my castle development, and it's been much appreciated. It really keeps me going. So do uh, continue with those comments, likes, and do remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, I think we're going to have to continue with this area because it looks so incomplete. So we'll either focus on the river in here or one of the buildings up against Castle Rock itself. See you then!